We Lost Our Human is a new Netflix animated interactive special, so let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. An interactive comedy adventure about two indoor pets, a cat named Pud and a dog named Ham, who wake up one day to find that all humans have seemingly disappeared from planet Earth. I've watched a few Netflix interactive specials and I try to go back and make different decisions along the way to see if it really changes the plot lines. I accidentally hit undo last choice multiple times in it because I was trying to pause it and so I accidentally hit the undo button a few times and it leads to pretty much the same overall story. We have Pud and Ham, dog and a cat. They were in their owner's computer and they wake up the next day and realize that all humans are gone and there was a glitch in the different dimensions and they have to travel through these dimensions to fix everything that had happened. And before we got to like all that major moments of them throughout the different dimensions, uh, I had went through uh, prior choices and switched them up a little bit and it really led to the same outcome of the story. Ben Schwartz voices Pud and AOE Debris voices Ham and they have really great chemistry within the scenes that they are together. The cat voiced by Ben Schwartz often wants to put all of the blame on the dog. Dog is very energetic. The cat is lazy at times. Very realistic portrayals on cats and dogs within this series. One thing I loved about this interactive special is that the dog and the cat just want to make their human happy. They don't see the moments of when she is upset uh, that they ruined her computer. They are happy, they want to make her happy. And even though as owners and the owner within the series, they are upset, their pets and dogs are still there to be with them. And I found that to be absolutely heartwarming in here when uh, Pud and Ham ruin her computer and she's very upset about it all. They still want to find her and they still care for her and they're still there for her and I love that within here. Uh, it's a nice portrayal, nice message about the relationships between dogs, cats and their owners as well. How much we love them and they love us as well. It was very heartwarming. The beginning of the interactive special has a huge focus on Pud and the implications of having these different choices and it could lead to this ripple effect. And then the cat, Ham, kind of comes along and tries to fix all of it. So the series, you get a nice balance of both the cat and the dog. The cat in the beginning, just uh, trying to blame everything on the dog. It's pretty funny. And then the dog at the end, trying to be like this hero and everything. It's a nice balance of the two characters. It really jumps into this odd journey in the, the different dimensions within here. And we explore different versions of these characters and different weird creatures that come along and try to help them with their journey so uh, there's enough movement in here the pacing is really quick despite having to sit there and choose something there's often times I couldn't get to the controller in times and it just chose something for me but uh, the pacing for it does move really quick exploring these different dimensions and the implications of doing one thing can lead to a whole other disaster and looking at that ripple effect was really interesting in here seeing these characters and how uh, they can change things that had happened in the past and even if you can't change it accept it and try to start over and fix what you did wrong and so there is a lot of times in here that these characters have to reflect on what they did and i'm not and i didn't get different versions of the ending but the ending that i did get i thought it was a nice touch to their relationships the cat and the dog and realizing sometimes you do something wrong and it could have a ripple effect on not only the future but also other people as well the animation is clean, it's colorful, they have unique designs for these characters, the humans, the different dimensions that they explore, the action scenes, it's all really beautiful and really well done. Nice clean outlines of the characters, everything looks really sharp in here. There's also a lot of jokes. Ben Schwartz brings his typical energy 
to this cat. There is some jokes that really caught me off guard. I would say this is a kids interactive special, but there's a couple jokes I'm sure kids would not understand, but I found them to be kind of funny. So there's enough uh, energy and enough jokes as well to make this a fun interactive special. But that message of owners, even on their worst day, our pets are still there for us. And I love that in the beginning. And that was the motivation throughout is that they are there for us, even on our worst days. Even if the humans are missing and there's a glitch in the dimensions, they're still there for us and they still love us, even on the worst days possible for the entire world. We Lost Our Human had the right balance of energy and great animation. Voice acting was really good. The runtime says it's about an hour and 43 minutes, but it could change based on different uh, choices you make. There's a couple times where I accidentally went back and it changed uh, certain storylines, but then, but but then the overall outcome of them eventually ended up the same way. So I think it changes a scenes here and there, but I guess our overall journey ended up being the same. But nonetheless, I think it was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed it. I like the clean animation in here and especially the voice acting as well. So before I give you my score for We Lost Our Human, the new Netflix interactive special, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. I'm going to go ahead and give We Lost Our Human a B minus. Thank you guys for checking my view for We Lost Our Human, the new Netflix interactive special. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.